So this video was entirely animated using XP Pen's Artis 15.6 Pro, a tablet I highly recommend for anyone looking for a more reasonably priced and high quality Wacom alternative. Make sure to stick to the end of the video for a more detailed look and unboxing. So I don't understand modern art, but I can appreciate it. On second thought, I don't. I think we can all agree as a society that there's a lot that goes into making an art piece. Rendering it out, stylizing it, colors, shapes, lighting, everything. So why is this moldy banana taped to a wall worth over a hundred grand, but all the bananas sitting in my kitchen counter are worthless? We're not worthless. And, and don't get me wrong, I appreciate all forms of art, whether it's hyper-realism, or highly stylized, or bad, but modern art, or contemporary art for you thick-rimmed black glasses folk, uh, is trash. Like, literally. But listen, listen, listen. I'm not trying to play myself off as some art elitist who gets to decide what's worth calling art and, and what isn't. Like, I know art is subjective. But I think that's part of the problem here. A lot of modern art is only worth talking about because of its perceived value. And that's not a concept unfamiliar to most people either, like, what even is money? It's just sheets of paper that we attach a worth to. But I think the difference between assigning value to currency and assigning value to a canvas painted white is money is easy to grasp. It's straightforward, it's numbers, one dollar will always be less than a hundred dollars, and everyone understands that. This is a canvas painted white, which is essentially the same color as it was if you didn't paint it white. And I don't understand it. But clearly someone does, because this one sold for $15 million. Oh. So, not too long ago, I went on a date to the Museum of Modern Art. And while, yes, there were a lot of great pieces there, some even interactive, but apparently not too interactive, because they get mad at you if you touch them too much. <laughs> but as we're walking through, I, I distinctly remember seeing this big old square just cut out of the drywall, exposing all the wood underneath. And at first I'm just like, alright, well you know, this place was under renovation for like a month, maybe they just didn't finish this part yet. You know, it'd be funny if this was actually part of the exhibit. And well, well, what do you know, modern art strikes again. This, this is literally a square cut out in the museum wall. Like, there's no other differentiating uh, color to the wall. It, it matches every other wall in the museum. The only difference is somebody decided to cut a square out of the wall. And now it is a permanent art piece that is literally part of the museum. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody said that the entire museum was the art piece and this one missing square in the wall was just, uh, just there. This this was just a random square in the wall. Does anybody know what the point of this is? Actually, this hole in the wall is theorized to represent the artist's social commentary on how apps such as Instagram and Facebook are leaving a whole generation of people feeling empty. Hence the hollowed out section of this single wall, as opposed to the filled sections of the rest of the wall, where it's assumed that these portions of the building's internal infrastructure are untainted by the decrepit, ever-reaching fingers of social media. And I'll admit, you know, my real problem with modern art isn't the bull like the hole in the wall, or, or even the banana. But it's the fact that all of it just makes me feel dumb. So to better understand the world of modern art, I think I'm just gonna have to make and sell my own. Standing out here with my banana hanging out, nobody wants to buy my art. Excuse me, uh, would anybody like to buy some original art? You wanna buy some, uh, some original art, buddy? Dude, this is an original piece. Sir, you wanna buy some original art? Come a little closer, give me a bid. Would you like to buy some art? That's a strong no. You're not even gonna think about it? Art, art, art. Buy some original art. Would you guys like to purchase some original art? No? You're like the 20th person to just laugh at my banana today. The guy with the fruit stand over there, he's selling bananas and people are buying them. But is he selling art? No. I said it was plagiarism. No, no, it's this is my original, this is my original take. I mean, I've seen this piece before, that's honestly why I'm not buying it. No, this is different. I use Staples brand, I use Staples brand uh, duct tape. I don't know what that guy's using. Mine's a different banana. His was a Chiquita, mine's Del Monte. It's different. For people who don't know, there's a police officer circling us. I think he thinks we're like actually trying to sell this or we're soliciting. Hi, would you guys be interested in some original art? No, nope, that was a very fast no, sir, are you sure? Oh man, everybody's saying I'm a plagiarist today when they don't know that this is my own personal take. It's not a joke. Who's joking, man? I told you, I'm unemployed. I'm not joking. Well, well art is subjective, so you kind of have to look a little deeper to find the meaning. What do you see? What do I see? What do you see? I only see the banana. Somebody bought his banana. 
So the, so the police officer that was circling us, uh, we thought we were going to get in trouble because we were soliciting or trying to sell stuff, but actually he was just concerned about the... <laughs> He's concerned about the microphone wire, not us actually trying to sell a banana. Actually, he said just to do it in the park, and I'm like, that's fine. That's where we wanted to do it in the first place. Anybody want to buy some original arts? Completely original. Anybody? Oh, would you like to, would you like to negotiate a price, sir? Yeah, how about... Uh, Starting bid is one. One. One hundred thousand. One, one dollar. Why only a dollar? It's a fucking banana. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are, you, are you actually offering me a dollar? Show me your banana. Starting bid is one. Two. Three. Five. Five million. All right, it's yours. I'll give you like five bucks. Only five bucks? That's all I have on my wallet because I went to Trader Joe's. How much did you buy the banana for? I can pay you five million rupees. I got two dollars. You should add like six more zeros at the end of that two dollars. Six. That's a lot of zeros, bro. I see food. And I'm hungry right now. I oh, I'm, I'm hungry too. I'm starving. So you want to buy it or what? A starving artist. Starving, dude. Eat the banana. I'm not going to eat my art. This was a verbal agreement. I'm expecting five million rupees. She's trying to sell me Zelda currency. She said rupees. You can't put it. Can you put a million dollars on that? I'm not taking that card, man. Sorry. Sorry. Good try, though. This is priceless. Yeah, that's the channel. Thank you. Wow, I mean, what you don't get in money, you get in subscribers. Crazy, huh? I've been showing it all day. You're the, you're the first person to give me money for it. Everybody else just kind of looks and laughs. <laughs> you want the buck? Please, take it. I have a family that I want to start. If you want, you can give me that banana, but I think we have more interesting things to talk about. Than what, what do you want to talk about here? I'd love to talk about the meaning of life, fulfillment and happiness, how we humans can truly become happy and stop complaining and focusing on bananas. But most of us humans, and I include myself, we are wasting, wasting so much energy doing blah, 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 instead of like asking a very simple question. What is that question? Who are you? What do you want? I want you to buy this banana. I'm not gonna buy the banana, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Well then you can't make my dreams come true. Who told you I'm here to make your dreams come true? <laughs> Follow me, Marcelo, M-A-R-C-E-L-O. Booking, B-U-K-I-N, the happiness guy. Mwah! I will follow you, man. Take care. Wow, that guy really like flipped my whole view. But he didn't buy my banana, so it means nothing. Would you guys like to buy some original art? All right, so here's the tablet XP Pen was kind enough to send me. This is the holiday edition, which is why the packaging is so festive. Uh, so once you open up the box, you get the tablet, which is protected by this little foam thing. And uh, once you remove that, you get the stand and several different plugs for different regions. And at the bottom of the plugs, you also get the power brick. I believe that's what that's called, I think. Um, you also get these cool pins, or a pin, and then a pop socket for your phone, because this is the holiday edition. And you also get your pen and your pen holder, and I believe the pen holder also stores nibs at the bottom if you unscrew uh, that little piece towards the end. Okay, so final thoughts on the tablet. I can tell you right off the bat, the display is really good. Like, compared to other monitor tablets that I've used, I've noticed that XP Pens has really vibrant colors. And I've also noticed that when you draw on the tablet, there's like zero to no parallax, which is amazing. I've also really grown accustomed to this little red click wheel. Um, it's really helped me streamline my workflow whenever I want to zoom in and out of the canvas. Also, the tablet supports up to 60 degrees of pen tilt function, which has really helped me in getting the kinds of lines that I want whenever I'm drawing in programs like Photoshop. So yeah, highly recommend this tablet. Um, if you're interested in purchasing it, I'll leave a link in the description down below. And before I go, I just want to give a quick shout out to all my patrons, especially Kota Kaname or Zyoshio on Discord. Uh, thank you so much for all the support. If you guys also want to support the channel, make sure to check out the Patreon. And until then, I'll see you guys uh, hopefully soon. Very soon. I'm going to see you soon.